Welcome to uh, another Lumion live stream tutorial, guys. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design. And right now I'd like to cover um, another feature from Lumion 8, specifically, you know, by itself, the new grouping feature. And unfortunately, I missed this one on my overview live stream. There's a lot of new features. And so I want to cover this very quickly. Grouping is something I'm very excited about. When I first heard about it, I've I, I've definitely started thinking of different possibilities. And as I prepared for this, I found even more ideas that I'd like to share with you guys. And I'm very impressed with how Lumion has implemented this new grouping feature. So first off, here we are in a blank scene. And let's start putting some objects together. And show you guys where to actually group. So let's just do a couple trees. Just like this. So we want this to be a group. A very quick example. So we need to go into the move mode here. So maybe a lot of people don't know about this tab or don't hit this tab normally, but you, you're going to have to hit this tab to find the group button. And then there it is right there, create group. So first thing we need to highlight all of our objects. And in this case, they happen to all be trees, but I'll show you later that we can do multiple different types. And we just go to create group here. So as you can see, the shadows make it a little hard, but let's see, let's get shadows off of here. But you can see some black lines here that kind of show where every object locating this group is connected. I think that's a great little feature they've added and so now we can move them all around. And let's go ahead and create another group. I'll go a couple more features with that. So it does not have to be all trees or all people. Let's go ahead and add put together this, you know, a tree with a car with this is going to be kind of a random example but with you know, this basketball and uh, let's have a person here and even a light for good measure very bright light now when we go into the move mode we can select all of them here and just as a refresher, there is a filter here. So maybe just in case we didn't want to grab this light, we could filter out lights and not grab the lights or not grab the tree. Just a quick refresher. I want all of them together here in my selection. So all of them are highlighted and then we hit group. And again, we're seeing those black lines connecting everything. They move together, they scale together. They rotate together in all directions. I guess a little interesting there. And of course, they'll go up and down together. I think you guys get the point. It works just like uh, grouping in Revit or, or 3ds Max or SketchUp. And that's really the idea. But as you can see here in the bottom right, we do have some options here. Some of the options we have are to be able to add the curtain selection to group. So let's place another object that we want to join our group. So we have this tree here. So this is a little tricky at first. Naturally, what you'd want to do is grab them both and then look for that add and it's not there. So I'll tell you, this is, this is how you go about doing this. Select group first and then hold control and select our new object. And then we can add current selection to group. We got a little black line going in there and now it has joined our group. I'm pretty sure we could do multiple other things at once as well. Another general, general object in here. We'll just do two more people. So again, if we wanna add them all together, select the group first, then hold control, click, grab both of them and they should both join our group now. So the next one is edit group. 
So when we go to edit group, now everything can be individually moved. The origin of the group can even be moved, which is very interesting. So that's the origin or pivot point, which will change. You know, I, I'd have to think uh, quite a bit about what what things this can entail, being able to control this. But everything else moves within side of this, and then when you're done, it's kind of like edit with effects or edit materials. You hit OK on the check here, and we're done. And everything still remains a group. And now we have some pretty interesting rotations we can do. Yeah, I, like I said, there's a lot of things I got to think about now, how we can implement that. And of course, if we don't want the group anymore, there's ungroup, and it's exploded back to all of our original, original people. Okay, just making sure that you are seeing this correctly. So, let's do another example now, very quickly. Let's grab everything. Get a fresh, fresh start here. Oh, one thing to take note as well. We cannot. I'm gonna make another group here. One thing you cannot do is group two groups together. So we can't have groups within a group. So at least not yet. Maybe that's something they could implement later. But I did notice that as well. I wanted to point it out. So let's go ahead and clear these all out. And one thing I've always wanted to do before when I would do animations with the cars in the sunset or in the evening is I've always wanted to have an ability to group headlights like actual lights to cars. So let's go ahead and let's use our <laughs> let's, let's use this Ferrari here. We got a new ever motion object. Let's turn its lights on and let's go ahead and bring this to more of an evening setting so we can see the lights. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two point lights in here. So I'm going to do this very quickly so I'm not be super accurate. Kind of have it pointed out here. Let's give it a bluish tinge. Maybe it's a new LED light. Position that one and then I'm going to copy it over. This is what I would normally do. And so we have headlights on our car. And I would like those to stick to that car wherever it goes. And now we can do that with group. And so now we move this around. We have headlights going everywhere. And I'm going to do that with one other car, just for another example. Maybe I'll have it going the other way. I'm going to show like some basic traffic here. Let's grab another set of lights. I'm not sure exactly what would be the best shape for headlights at the moment, but I'll try both of these ones. Okay, very quickly, I just want to add those and create another group, separate group. And again, these are all moving together. So let's make a quick animation. Just get some, just a simple stock camera there. Let's start with advanced move. So we'll have this car starting, going this way, and ending here, driving on grass. And have this one end here and start back here and here's our animation with advanced move of course it'd be a little quicker but it gets better let's, let's ditch that advanced move and let's jump into mass move so let's let's give these guys a path let's see if I do this right we have them going opposite directions um <laughs> that might have something to do with the uh, with the uh, 
Let's just try one car. It might have something to do with the group, the new group setting up. But here is, let's get it go a little faster. Here's our car going through a path with with headlights. And so that was just a really quick feature I wanted to show off. Now I feel like I need to redo my roundabout animation it a while back with every car having headlights now. That might be a challenge. And I'd watch out, you know, things like headlights, lots of lights can slow things down later. But other examples I was thinking Lumion's preview trailer had a an example of a I think it was a couple it was like a plant and a bench and people so maybe you could just set up groups of people talking together maybe with someone um, and have like a bench like they had the sitting person you know the, the possibilities are endless and now we have this as a group Oops, let's grab everything in group. So there's our group. So that's the group functionality. Um, I'm excited to utilize this. It's just one of those little things I've always wanted Lumion to have, and now we finally have it. And I'm very excited to see what I can do with it. I'm excited to see what you guys can do with it. So thanks for watching, guys. That'll be all for the group functionality. And I will be covering a lot of the other smaller features for Lumion 8 as well coming up soon. So thanks for watching, guys. And until next time.